Today we're making vegetable samosas. Now, living here in Toronto, we're lucky in that there are a lot of Indian restaurants where you can get real authentic samosas. But I have to be honest with you, the vegetable samosas that we're making today are as good as any that I've had at any restaurant or even on the street. Um, what I really like about them is, although they're vegetable samosas and they're fairly simple, um, you can really taste the flavor of the sweet filling that we're going to make. Now, there are about four parts to making samosas. We have to make the filling, which obviously consists of veggies. Uh, we have to make the dough. We then have to form the samosas and then deep fry them. It's a little bit of work, I'm not going to lie to you, but in the end it's well worth it and a real treat. So here are the ingredients for our samosas. We have uh, yellow onions, we've got carrots, we've got a russet potato, we have corn niblets, we've got uh, green peas, chicken broth, you can also use vegetable broth if you're a vegetarian. We've got canola oil, or you can also use vegetable oil. We have our Indian spices, which um, we're gonna use various different combinations of. I'll show you how to mix those together. And we've got good old cinnamon, and this dish wouldn't be complete without it. We're also gonna use some brown sugar as well. Okay, now our veggies are finely chopped. We've got our onions and minced garlic in this bowl. And in a separate bowl, and this is important, we've got the rest of our veggies, corn and peas, potatoes and um, carrots. And then in here, we've got our spices, which we're gonna fry up in oil. We've got uh, uh, two types of curries, and then these two are uh, turmeric. Uh, um, this one's regular and that one's roast. So here's our saute pan. And now we're gonna take our spices and we're gonna fry them in the uh, canola or vegetable oil, whichever one you happen to be using. So give this a nice stir. And immediately you get that full bouquet of Indian spices coming off of this. It just smells wonderful. Next we're going to, once this fries up a little bit, we're going to add our uh, onions and garlic. Okay, so our onions are looking really, really nice. They're got, they have some lovely color on them. And the next thing we're going to do is add two tablespoons of brown sugar. And the reason why we're doing this now is that sugar under heat and moisture will caramelize. And we don't want this to be uh, a, a caramel sauce. We want this to uh, mix in with the, uh, the onions and to be well incorporated and then we'll add the rest of the veggies. So you don't want to add it from at the very beginning because you might not like the results. So, I just incorporate this and see immediately it's starting to get thick and gooey. That's our cue to throw in the rest of the veggies. Next thing we're going to do is add two tablespoons of brown sugar. And now we mix. Okay, look at those beautiful colors. So the veggies are incorporated with the spices that were fried in here, as well as the onions. And now, remember, the potatoes and carrots are all still raw. So we're now going to add our uh, chicken stock. Again, you can use vegetable stock as well. About half a cup to a cup, depending on your portion size. And we now want to Cover this with a lid and let it simmer for about 30 minutes to soften the veggies. Okay, so here we are about 30 minutes later and we're pretty much done. Like I said, the way that you know that we're finished uh, cooking the filling is just try the potatoes. If they're nice and soft um, and 
Um, they're not too too soft. They're not mushy. They should have some firmness, but if they're not too soft, then you know they're done. And then you can let this cool, and it needs to cool before you start to put it inside. Two yeah. cups of flour. There's one. A half teaspoon of salt. Six tablespoons of vegetable or canola oil. One, two, let's mix this up. Okay, now we're ready to add our water. Now that's been six tablespoons. You'll notice that it's starting to clump together. It's done when the dough starts to just run around the edge of the, uh, the, the mixer. Almost there. Nine. And there it goes. And there's our lovely dough. Easy. So now that our dough has had half an hour to rise, we want to cut it into four equal sections. Okay, we want to flatten this out. I'm gonna take a rolling pin and roll it out into sort of a, a square pattern. In each direction, we wanna make it rather flat. And finally, we want to cut it across into so that each piece is kind of like a, a triangle. Okay, now what we want to do is on the straight edge that we cut, we want to take some water, lukewarm water, and just apply it like this. This is going to help the two straight edges come together. Okay, now we've got our first batch of samosas ready to go into the deep fryer. Okay, our oil's now at the right temperature, and in they go. And there is our finished product, nice and golden brown. And we've got a couple more in the fryer now. That'll be our next batch.